Hello students, let's begin the chapter 4 from your moment's supplementary textbook in the kingdom of fools. It is, it is written by A.K. Ramanujun. The chapter is written by A.K. Ramanujun. And who was this A.K. Ramanujan? A.K. Ramanujan was born on 16 March 1929 and died on 13 July 1993. He was the Indian poet and scholar of Indian literature who wrote in both English as well as in Kannada. He was awarded the Sahitya Academy Award in 1999 for his collection of poems. So today we are going to study one of his lesson and that is in the kingdom of fools from his great work. So let's continue. It is believed that the fools are so dangerous that only the wise people can manage them. Who are the fools in this story? What happens to them? So who are the fools and what happens to them in the story? Now, let's begin. In the kingdom of fools, both the king and the ministers were idiots. They didn't want to run things like other kings, so they decided to change night into day and day into night. So students, in the kingdom of fools, we are studying about in the kingdom of fools, what happens? The king as well as his minister were idiots. What they did, they did not want to run the things like the other kings. They turned the day into night and the night into a day. And so they had to work accordingly. They ordered everyone, who are they? The king and his ministers ordered that everyone should be awake at night till their fields and run their businesses only after dark. So what was the order? That they all have to be awake at night. They had to till their fields and run their businesses only after dark, meaning only when the sun has set, they could start their work. And they go to bed as soon as the sun came up. So as soon as the sun rises, they had to go to bed to sleep. Students, all of us do the other way. But in the kingdom of fool, they wanted to do the things something differently. And what foolish thing they do? When everyone has to be awake, when the sun rises, that time they went to sleep. And when the sun goes to set, once it was a sunset, they would start working. And what type of work they would do? Like tilling their fields or running their business. Then anyone who disobeyed would be punished with death. So anybody who did not obey the order of the king was punished. And so everyone had to follow the order. The people did as they were told for fear of death. So people did as they were told. Nobody wanted to die. The king and the minister were delighted at the success of their project. King and his ministers were happy. Why? For the success of their project. And what was the project? That people should go to sleep once it is sun. Once the sun rises, people should go to sleep. And once it is sunset, people should start working. And they were happy about this foolish idea or the foolish project. One day, a guru and his disciple arrived in the city. It was a beautiful city. It was broad daylight, but there was no one about. So, it was a beautiful city. City was very nice. And it was a broad daylight. It was during the day when the sun was strong, where there was a nice bright light. But there was no one about. They could not see anyone. Everyone was asleep. Not a mouse stirring. So everyone was sleeping, not even a mouse moving around. Even the cattle had been taught to sleep by day. Even the cattle was taught to sleep by day. So even the animals were following the order of the king. The two strangers were amazed by what they saw around them and wandered around town till evening when suddenly the whole town woke up and went about its nightly business. So the, these two strangers, who are these two strangers? A guru and his disciple, a teacher and his student or a pupil. They were so surprised that how is it? How is it that uh, nobody is to be seen? They were, uh, nobody is over there. So they went around looking for people or maybe searching for the things. 
when suddenly the whole town woke up and they went about their nightly business. So towards the evening, in the evening when it was the sunset, they would get up in the kingdom of full. So what happened? They saw people all of a sudden coming out of their houses, starting about their work, and they went about their nightly business, about tilling the field and then business and whatever things they had to do. Students, now tell me, can you really till the field in the night when it is so dark? But then they had to follow the order. The two men were hungry. These two men were hungry. Who are these two men? The disciple and his uh, guru. Now that the shops were open, they went to buy some groceries. As the shops were open, they went to buy some grocery. What is the meaning of grocery student? A store that sells or uh, selling the food stuff or various household supplies. So they went to get some grocery. Now why grocery? Because they were hungry. They wanted to get something. They wanted to buy something. To their astonishment, to their surprise, they found that they were, they found that everything cost the same, a single dudu. Everything, whatever they bought, was of a single dudu. Dudu is like a one rupee maybe. Whether they bought a measure of rice or a bunch of bananas, it cost a dudu. So whether they bought the bunch of banana or they bought a measure of rice, but everything was costing same. The guru and his disciple were delighted. They were so happy that the price was so less. It was everything was cheap. They had never heard of anything like this. They could buy all the food they wanted for a rupee. They had never heard like that. They had never seen anywhere that they could buy a uh, food stuff with uh, so cheap price. When they had cooked and eaten, the guru realized that this was a kingdom of fools and it wouldn't be a good idea for them to stay there. So guru realizes when he cooked the food and when he ate, he realized here the things are happening, everything just opposite. When people go, people have to go to sleep, that is the time they are awake. People when they have to be awake, that is the time they are sleeping. The things are not going accordingly as it is supposed to be. The things are so cheap. And uh, how can it be? And so what he says that this is not, this is no place for us. Let's go. So Guru is telling the pupil to his shisha, a disciple, that it is not a good place for us. Let's go from here. He said to his disciple, but the disciple didn't want to leave the place. Disciple was so happy in that place. He couldn't think what the Guru was thinking. And he was happy over there. Everything was cheap here. Everything was with a low price. So disciple was very happy over there. All he wanted was good, cheap food. He wanted to buy. He was happy about the good and cheap food over there. The Guru said, they are all fools. Guru is saying, they all are fools. This won't last very long. And you can't tell what they will do to you next. So what is Guru is telling the disciple? Guru is telling the disciple, you do not know what will be the next and what they can do to you and it is not a proper city they all are fools so let's move from here but disciple wouldn't listen to guru's wisdom disciple did not listen to guru's wisdom disciple thought guru has become uh, mad or guru is a foolish who doesn't even realize what is happening here he wanted to stay the guru finally gave up and said do what you want i am going and left. So the Guru is telling the disciple, you do whatever you want to do. He couldn't convince the, convince the foolish uh, disciple. So he says, you stay over here, I am going. The disciple stayed on, ate his fill every day, bananas and ghee and rice and wheat and grew fat like a street sized sacred bull. So disciple is eating a lot. He is eating bananas and ghee and rice and wheat and because everything is so cheap. Only a dudu, maybe like one rupee. And so he is enjoying over there. One bright day, a thief broke into a rich merchant's house. He had made a hole in the wall and sneaked in. And as he was carrying out his loot, the wall of the old house collapsed on his head and killed him on the spot. So one bright day, a thief broke into a rich merchant's house. So what happened? In a rich merchant's house, a thief came in and robbed him. He made, 
he had made a hole in the wall and sneak in what is the meaning of sneak students he entered into he entered into how through this hole he managed to enter the house and then what happens as he was carrying his loot whatever he had robbed the wall of the old house collapsed the wall fell down on his head and he and killed him on the spot so he died his brother ran to the king and complained your highness when my brother was pursuing his ancient trade a wall fell on him and killed him this merchant is to blame so what happens what is he saying when uh, my brother was carrying out his ancient business see what is he saying and that is the time what happened a wall fell on him and he was killed on the spot so who is supposed to be blamed this merchant is to be blamed or the merchant is to blame he should have built a good strong wall you must punish the the wrong doer and compensate the family for this injustice so what is he saying you have to compensate you have to give whatever money uh, for the loss for the loss of his brother and so what is he saying it is uh, the whatever injustice has been done to the family you have to do the king said justice will be done don't worry and at once summon the owner of the house so what is the king saying king is saying justice will be given to him don't worry but let's call he summon the owner owner of the house you can see the picture over here you can see the picture over here and so the owner of the house was invited and you can see so student the owner of the house was invited when the merchant arrived the king questioned him what's your name such and such your highness so the merchant is saying such and such meaning he gives his name so and so and he says your highness is he respects the king were you at home when the dead man burgled your house so were you at home when the dead man who came who entered into house to stole yes my lord he broke in and the wall was weak it fell on him the accused pleads guilty your wall killed this man's brother you have murdered a man we have to punish you so what is the king is taking the side of the dead man the burglar who had burgled the house and so what is he saying the accused pill uh, pleads guilty your wall was your wall has killed the man man's brother and so therefore we have to punish you lord said the helpless merchant i didn't put up the wall it's really the fault of the man who built the wall he didn't build he, he didn't build it right you should punish him who is that my lord this wall was built in my father's time i know the man he is an old man now he lives nearby the king sent the messenger he sends nearby so what is he what is he says that my father's time the uh, wall was built and the man stays close by so what is the king doing the king sent out the messenger to bring the bricklayer who had built the wall they brought him tied hand and foot you dare did you build this man's wall in his father's time yes my yes my lord i did okay students so what is he saying yes my lord i had built this wall during his father's time but why are you calling me now what happened what kind of wall is this that you built it has fallen on a poor man and killed him you have murdered him we have to punish you by death so what is he saying now we have to punish you what type of wall have you built students we will stop over here it's a interesting story but uh, we are not going to continue now we will continue in the next lecture so read the story i'll be soon sending you the question answers i'm going to stop a class over here